In today's video, we're going to look at interrupts and buffers. An interrupt is a signal sent from a device or software to the processor. This signal causes the processor to temporarily stop what it is doing and deal with the device or software that sent the interrupt. Reasons for interrupts could include a disk drive is ready to receive more data, an error has occurred, such as a paper jam in a printer, the user has pressed a key to cause an interrupt, or a software error has occurred. A buffer is a temporary memory area used to hold on to instructions so that the processor can spend more time with other tasks. Let's take a look at how they are used. So, let's take a look at this example of printing. First, we check if there's data to be sent to the printer. If there's no data to be sent to the printer, the processor continues with its normal tasks. However, if there is data to be sent to the printer, here's what happens. The data to be printed is sent to the printer buffer, so it is no longer stored in the processor. The data in this buffer is emptied as the file is printed. While this is happening, the processor is carrying out other tasks. Once the file is printed, the printer buffer is empty, and then it sends an interrupt signal to inform the processor that it is ready to receive more data. This task is suspended or put on hold until there is more data to be printed and the cycle repeats. And that's everything you need to know about interrupts and buffers.